Okay, so we're in here in Adobe Atomy, and what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is how to have a ball bounce across the stage and then also apply squash and stretch. Squash and stretch are the first two elements, first two principles of animation, and what they have to do with is showing uh, actual object in motion, so it takes into account the gravity and the weight. So it'll make sense as we move through. So to start, we create our new file. File, new. We're going to keep what we have here. We're coming to Action Script 3.0 and 24 frames per second. I'm going to hit OK. I have my stage. Excellent. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to come on out and I'm going to actually just set my frames. So I'm going to bring my uh, selection and put it in about frame 100 and I'm going to come to insert timeline frame. Now I have all of these frames. I'm going to pull my playhead on back and now I'm going to add my symbol. Okay so in order to create my symbol now what's really important is I want to have my playhead pulled to frame one. Okay because wherever I put this symbol out will become my first keyframe. So I'm going to come on in. Right now it's not a symbol though. I'm going to turn it into a symbol. So I'm going to add a ball. Okay, and I'm going to come on over here because this the ball is going to pop in from on top and then it's going to roll on down. And I'm going to grab my black arrow, move it on over. I'm going to select it. I want to have it selected. Now I can see actually when I made mine, I actually had a stroke around it. So I'm going to actually get rid of that stroke. So what happens is, is when I put it in, make sure if you have on a stroke, it will come over there. Okay, so now I want to turn it into a symbol. So I'm going to come to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I am going to name this Pink Ball. Now I'm going to keep it a graphic symbol. I'm going to hit OK. Excellent. All right, so now my next step is I want to add the motion tween. So I'm going to come on in to insert motion tween. Okay, great. Now I want to show how what's going to happen as it bounces on to this area right here. So I'm going to come on out and say, okay, maybe at about frame, between frames 10 and 15. I'm going to come on in. It's going to come on in. It's going to bounce on in. Bounce. Then I'm going to come on over and say, okay, between these two frames, it's going to come on up like so, and then it's going to come on down to here, okay, and then I'm going to come right into here, and it's going to bounce up, and then it's going to come on out here. It's going to bounce on down. Now this guy can actually, you know, I'm going to pretend like it hits a wall. So I'm going to pretend that it comes on in, it hits another wall right in here, and then it kind of bounces back. So it's going to come on in over here. It's going to bounce on back. It's going to come here. Bounce right here. To here, bounce on up here, okay it's going to be off the stage but I'll end it up in here, okay? All right, so now I'm going to watch this, okay? So I'm going to come to control, I'm going to hit rewind and control and play. Okay, so there we have it. Now, the one thing that I want to do though, we know that as a ball bounces around, that when it comes up, we're going to actually give it a little bit more of an arc. Okay, so how are we going to go about doing that? Well, we're going to come on in again, we're going to grab our playhead, I'm going to start pulling on out, it's down here, it's up here. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm actually going to move this over just a tad. I'm going to grab my white arrow. And I'm going to click, okay? 
So I have my white arrow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the option. I want to get these um, points, these paths, and I'm going to add a little bit of an arrow. So I'm going to do this for all of the ones, the handles. We can kind of give it a little bit more pizzazz, right? Um, pulling this one out. I'm going to come on over here too. All right, so, and the ones that I'm doing like that, they're actually in the opposite direction. So that's what it is. All right, so now let's actually take a look one more time and see how this is now. Okay, all right, so there we have it. All right, so I'm going to actually watch it. So I'm going to come to test movie. I'm going to test it in Animate. Okay, now let's add our squash and our stretch. So here ha is how we do the squash and the stretch. Begin To begin with, I bring my playhead back to zero. And what we're going to do is as we start to move through, we're going to get right to where, right before the keyframe where it hits. When it hits, it will squash a little. But before it squashes, we're going to do a, a stretch. So I'm going to grab my black arrow. I'm going to select this. I'm going to open up my transform window. So I'm going to come to window transform. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my stretch. Now I'm exaggerating mine here. Okay, then I'm going to come to here and I'm going to do my squash. Again, select. Okay, great. Now I'm going to come right next to here and I'm going to do my, I'm going to flip them. Again, I'm exaggerating this. Um, now I'm going to come now I'm going to come back up to where it is in the air and I'm going to go back to 100 and 100. Okay? Let's do the next one. Now as it starts to move through it feels like it really has a lot of the same momentum as it goes through. I've kept the whole thing with the same momentum. So what I'm going to do for this one is the first one I did the most. Now I'm going to move these ones. I'm going to make this 80 120. I'm going to come on down right here. I'm going to go change this now to the squash. This one will be 120 by 80. I'll bring this one right in here. We're going to flip it 80 by 120. Okay, let's just watch this and then we go back on up to 100 okay now this next one's off the stage so I don't really have to worry so much about that because no one sees that okay but then it comes back in and then when it comes back down I'm going to do the same And again, I feel like they all have a lot of the similar momentum. So if it was slowing down, then it would be less of a um, squash and a stretch. This one I'm going to flip because this is where it hits the ground. 120 by 80. We're going to bring this one right to here. This one would be 80 by 120. Okay, keep on going with our playhead. Again, we come on up. Again, when it comes up here, we're going to go to 100 by 100. We're going to come on out, and there it is. Okay, so let's play it. Control, play. Okay, now let's watch it. Let's see it. Let's test our movie. Let's test it in Atomy.
Okay, so there we have it. Very easy. Uh, what we've done here is we've done squash and stretch and possibilities are endless. We're working with keyframes, motion tweens. That's it. Thanks so much.